An object is placed in a medium of refractive index 3, an electromagnetic wave of intensity is this much, false normal. Okay. So now if we see the velocity, let us say, of the electromagnetic wave is V. Okay. So therefore, uh, it is going to have the, uh, you know, the photons, okay, they are going to have the uh, energy of you know, H V by lambda. This is the energy of each photon. Now, the momentum of photon is, P of photon is going to be H by lambda. Now, since there is, a, you know, the photons are getting absorbed completely. So, therefore, P final is equal to 0. So, therefore, delta P is going to be h by lambda now what we do is we consider an area of 1 meter square okay and the electromagnetic waves are falling in and you know so for 1 meter square and for 1 second now how much energy is incident this is whatever intensity was there into 1 meter square into 1 second this is the energy which is incident okay so now uh, the total change of uh, the total momentum change of all the photons is going to be equal to h by lambda into the number of photons now how many number of photons are falling h by lambda into so the total energy which is falling which is i into 1 meter square into 1 second divided by hc by lambda which is the energy of each photon or hv by lambda here so h by lambda h by lambda is gone so this is the total uh, momentum change now we have found the total momentum change that is delta p total so therefore if we have to find the radiation pressure okay so first of all we find the force so this entire thing is happening in one second so therefore the average force exerted is equal to delta p total divided by one second and therefore pressure radiation pressure is going to be equal to uh, this force divided by area which is going to be delta p total is uh, you know this much i into 1 meter square into 1 second divided by v into you know, one uh, no, area and 1 second so 1 meter square to one second gone 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 so therefore this is going to be i by v which is 6 into 10 to the power 8 divided by velocity is since it is a refractive index of the refractive index is of 3 so therefore it's going to be c by mu so therefore 3 into 10 to the power 8 into mu so 3 gone gone 2 this is also gone so therefore it's going to be 6 newton per meter square